group. And actually, this is panel that you're looking at is a veteran panel. Arisa Sewell was the first international vice president of Europe. She was also the German president for many, many years. Uh, you can read this in this little uh, CV booklet that you received by the registration. Um, I won't give a proper introduction because I take too much time. So, yeah. Okay, I'm in the Women's Federation for many years as uh, president. And um, Brigitte Wadden, she is also very interesting. She has spent uh, some years in three different countries working with the Women's Federation before she became the president from France. Then all you can read is in this movement, okay? So I don't want to make a long talk about this. And we have one special guest this morning, and I'd like to ask her to begin. Our Czech president, uh, just need to get the name right. Marcella Rosenalova. And she was born in 62 in April, and she has four children. She is um, the executive director of SEVA, it's the Center of Ethical Education and Social Psychology Prevention. And she has been working with the Women's Federation several years, and then she went over to this special project with which she also works which I find fascinating about the Czech Republic, right? That they have this kind of ethical... Um, <coughs> she's uh, now, just recently, she became the WSWP president and from Czechoslovakia. And I would like to welcome her now to the floor and give her the floor. I so I can be received. And uh, I think it's uh, even calling for all of us. I hope you could have a uh, wonderful breakfast. Uh, indeed, uh, I want to give you just a little telling of uh, what uh, I'm doing because within the summer it's not possible to do more. But I think that is enough. Okay, uh, thanks to you, uh, Elizabeth, for uh, introduction. Uh, <coughs> I am a president and I am a medical doctor, but in the science and I am a medical doctor because I am not very urgent with I want to become a bridge between God and Super and God and uh, society, especially young people on the other side. Uh, because I felt like uh, if the society is sick and our children are sick, so that future should come there. So it was really my determination and uh, uh, I heard that all I heard when my father speaking about the bridge, that we should become the bridges. So even though I went through time of difficulties and the obstacles, which uh, I probably will share with you with uh, our afternoon session, I always come to the point to become the bridge. And to be the bridge really for people to go to the better world. Uh, the program uh, I did a lot with uh, the help of Heaven during the year is a very much complex project. Uh, it's a work with teenagers. It's an educating of education to so avoid the teens and the children, the other children. And uh, it's a supporting uh, program for parents, uh, for the marriage couple and uh, for parents. Uh, and uh, to the program for teenagers, is, I started with uh, three teens, which many of you know. It's uh, HIV, AIDS, STDs, and teenage uh, pregnancy prevention. And uh, uh, it's much more than this. And uh, during the years, I realized one thing that people hurt themselves when they do not know their values. So much of what? If it's uh, smoking or drugs or uh, uh, using the sex with the uh, whoever or uh, hurting themselves or uh, eating the orders from or uh, uh, trying to make suicide, whatever it is, it's very much connected with if people do not know their values. So even though I do my uh, HIV AIDS prevention, I do smoking prevention, I do eating disorders prevention, I also use uh, 
And uh, I have to use my hands on the video all the time to make it better, which is awesome. And so uh, we use all of this program also about uh, how to become a mother of Tanya for telling your own children. Uh, but everything is connected with the value. So my main message, even though I put a part of stretch pictures about AIDS and I got stretch pictures about the very top of blogging, but this is what is important. What is most important and most essential thing is that if you will approach the children with uh, your life has value, your love has value, your sexuality has value, never ever was such a person as you are. It's your child. It's your child for your life. So this is the main message which is in all the programs. And after all the programs, I give to children such a pledge. Uh, we have it two colors, uh, pink and gold for girls, and uh, brown and blue for boys. And it's written here, I, it was their name, I realized the great value of life and love. And I want to become a true and a good person, my English is not perfect in this, I'm sorry, and in my life to create relationships of true love and to want to become um, a loyal wife to my husband, or a husband to my wife, and a good mother and father to my children. And because it doesn't happen overnight, there is the other part. That's why I pledge, and say, you don't pledge to me, you pledge to yourself. I pledge to myself, to my future husband, my future wife, that they, they already exist. Even though you may not know them, but they already, or you know them, but you don't know the other one. Yeah? I pledge to my future husband, my future wife, and to my future children, that I will evaluate my life, and I will prevent everything which can harm it, smoking, drugs, alcohol, and I will so I will make and um, appreciate my love and I will keep it and protect it for my future and for, for my future life. I give this uh, to children and uh, uh, together with uh, so-called holy candy, which I call like uh, uh, cheer, holy, like candy cheer for proper choices in your life. And it's very, it's something I thought it was not the only one. It's really changing it to your heart for the proper choices in your life. And I have great experience with this because sometimes they ask, the younger, they ask it also for their parents, for siblings. Yeah. And to the elders, they ask it uh, for their spouses. And I have some nice experience with them. Um, Guys, you know, about 20 years old, they came to me and they wanted it for their spouses. And because they really came by themselves, I was sure they were not even uh, only to give it to them, but also they will uh, speak with them the content we were talking about. And one year later, I was in a uh, house school and several from girls, and I was just giving to them, and she said, and uh, Mikhaila, she was the long hair in front, and she said, I don't need it, I already have it. I received it from my spouse. So she received a year ago, and she was still keeping it there. So uh, I had a home that it's uh, for something. Yeah. Next, uh, what uh, we had is educating of educators. And uh, we had a lot of nine workshops for educators, teachers, social workers, and so on, uh, accredited by the Ministry of uh, Education. Some of them, some of them is already gone. But uh, if you are interested in it, you can um, um, see it in the uh, afterwards. I brought some annual reports here, so you can have a look at this with some pictures and so on. The next part, uh, since uh, 2005, we started and this is the Ministry of Social Affairs, the program uh, to make a health and family. Uh, and basically, I'm very much involved now in the project of restoration of love in the family, uh, which is uh, 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 I mean, most educated by a famous uh, watch, while it's known as the watch in the region of Greco. She is very much connected with the heavenly management. She speaks of the heavenly management. And uh, the point is going to uh, make a love in the family alive. So that the love 
could run very freely. And uh, for this, uh, she has developed a really uh, couple of things here. Yeah? Uh, and it's um, uh, receiving accepting her confirmation with Sarah. Except our parents in the mistake they had. Uh, all of us had some hurt with ourselves from our childhood and so on. And so on the internet when they and when it comes to a close relationship with our husband, with our wife, with our children, it's uh, like a thing, yeah? It's a trigger which comes out. And uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, you can understand quickly that if you remember to receive the parents, uh, you can become free. You can become free for your own children, for your own own spouse. Like this emotional confrontation to express yourself uh, without uh, uh, making yourself inferior or not shouting, not to be crocodile, not to fight or to escape, but really to uh, express your feelings. Yeah? So, this is the thing also about the family system, like everyone has his or her life. Yeah? So, uh, there are many, many, many things, and I don't want uh, to take more time, I think. Um, for a just a short and short introduction, it's enough. And uh, we try also to really work with nice couples, make a program for a family, uh, to have it also just one more thing. That parents need to be encouraged what guidance to give to their children. Because many times they are compromising. Like they are so called experts in the society, sexologists and so on. And actually the parents say, okay, so I have to give to my child at least a condom, at least a uh, contraception, something like this, yeah, to protect my child. But in reality, what children need, and what the research has shown, they need really uh, clear attitude. They need uh, uh, time of a parent, and they need the guidance of a parent. Yeah? So this is also something we can talk about after. And, uh, for now, I mean, that's another job, and this is very fascinating. I would like to ask uh, you all to keep your questions for the break and try and sit with her at lunchtime or something, because really we have to move on with everything, unfortunately. She has a very, no, she has a very important project about uh, many kinds of disorders, so I'm sure she has a possibility even to come to each country, so please invite her to your country. So this is a very special time and maybe we uh, can just move on to what's your topic. Uh, women in leadership, so your topic. Women in leadership, okay. And she has prepared the PowerPoint and we have the PowerPoint now. And um, you have a similar type of institution. <laughs> we call it as well the Palais of Luxembourg in Paris. This is the seat of the Senate. So, in fact, in fact I was very surprised. Why? Why, why did they ask me? Because I went there to thank many other people, the senators or other organizations, to speak there. Why did they ask me to speak over there? I don't know if I mean. But I say yes, because I thought this is a new opportunity for me to challenge myself. It's more like a story about challenging myself, right? Or ourselves in many different ways. So I say yes. So I thought, okay, now I say yes, I have to go to prepare myself for that. Uh, uh, of course, my desire was to present about women situations because he asked me, he told me, he asked me because he, he, he thinks that the idea of the women's situation, the solutions that we bring are very good for the crisis and for the problems of the society. So this is why he asked me. So now I want you to speak in the, in the afternoon, which is like about the solution of the problem in the, in the society. So I say, okay. <laughs> so I say, okay, I have to go in the name of women's generation over there and speak what we are doing. What kind of work, what kind of activities the women and federation are doing in, in the world, I would say, just in the world. in the world. So, <clears throat> it gave me a title. This is the organization that organized it in the Senate. It's called Democracy. So democracy is more like masculine aspect, in fact. So it only gave me a title eventually that I could use. 
but these are the very masculine sizes, right? I change it to the feminine sizes. Come on. Uh, it has uh, so I change the culture of peace. No, crisis comes and goes. Crisis comes and goes. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Just peace remains an individual responsibility and a permanent collectivity. It's kind of a long name, but I try really as much as possible to speak about the culture of peace. So then, uh, you want people to have a woman, because a woman is basically the only man. So you want to have a woman to speak uh, in this presentation. So I knew about that, but I had some preparations to do internally and externally. They were speaking this kind of uh, field. So I have an ambassador for peace, another lady, another friend of me, who is also ambassador for peace, who helped me to structure uh, my, my presentation. Because I thought I had to be able to find the right style, the right words to speak. Because in such a place, you cannot speak, you know, like just too much idealistic as well, just to be realistic. And at the same time, you know, you want to bring through the message, you know. But uh, I felt I couldn't speak too much about, you know. Uh, spiritual things or religious things that you have to structure the case in the right way. I was so very nervous. But I've been generally quite, quite confident that everything was really, I was proud you said. Um, I could uh, listen to it, you know, I could, yes. Anyway, I could really find uh, yeah. it. <laughs> so, um, basically, I don't have the picture here, but it's quite impressive to see the picture. It's only men. I was the only woman to speak. There was four, four men and one, one woman. And the whole day, the whole day, I was the only woman. So I said, first, <laughs> only time I was a patient, only men. After that, I was the only woman. So I said, well, okay, now I have to go. And uh, I tried, uh, so unusual in a way. So all the men spoke first. I was the last to speak. <laughs> So I could give my message. So 15 minutes ago, of course I had my text in a way. So I spoke basically about the culture of peace and about um, UN Federation's activities. And what helped the most was the reconciliation in the system that we are doing in the world. So I'm really touching that point, especially for women who are there. They can't meet to the end and say that it's really great. I mean, I could make some good friends after us. So one of the things is that women's federation is known in France sometimes, you know, we have some kind of control. Uh, the, the leader of this democracy knew about, you know, women's federation. And they asked this ambassador for peace who was sitting here. He said, if someone is uh, not happy or kind of getting and want to provoke, she's getting out. <laughs> You are saying if someone is not happy about it, you are really trying to take it you know. So I felt very protected and um, very sure about what I was doing. So it was my challenge. I thought about myself and I just said that everybody can do it. This is the point, yeah? And that, uh, so I really made the conclusion with all the points which I The second story was more like when I was asked for a little bit with UNESCO. Of course, it's also a very prominent place, but this is organized by UPS, Universal Peace Federation and Women's Federation. So I might ask to share about Women's Federation with the UNESCO, but together with some alliance and some other organizations. But the third one was not so long ago in, uh, in October, when I received a telephone call from a lady from Geneva, and she asked me to come, she asked me if I could participate to a, a panel, which is the key. Uh, the key role of, um, uh, of, the, of the key role of women uh, for peace in Africa and Middle East. So uh, she really emphasized, she really asked me, did, did you receive really the invitation? Did you receive by email? She was really me to come. Okay. And then I look at the website, it's organized by the Trans Montana for Mom, you know. This is kind of a quite, quite, uh, you know, high level people coming there like some uh, prime ministers or some of prime ministers, some former presidents, some other people. You know, the one they have to come to this place. <laughs> I ask a woman to say, what do you you should subscribe to, you know, maybe you should go and sit there, don't you? <laughs> and then finally she subscribed, in fact, you know, and so I went there. And, uh, and then she told me, you know, they, they put you on the panel to speak, you know. And Caroline as well, in fact, she was on the So 
I went in, and then in the afternoon, uh, we were about, so there was some 40, 30 women, around, men and women, around the table. And, uh, and many others listening around. And then, uh, uh, so everyone was speaking. There were some uh, women of prime ministers speaking with a long, such a long time. And at the end, I had four minutes to speak. But in four minutes, you can say quickly something, some four points. So the point was to speak about peace and what is the role of women for peace. So the first thing is, okay, please start with yourself. <laughs> of course, there are a lot of activists, uh, some, some few activists from Libya, from uh, there was some also Libya, and some others from Libya. So, of course, there is a lot of good songs that came out about the women, right? The women rights. But I mean, say, but, you know, start with yourself. The second one is that women need to be empowered from tools. And the third one, that men and women need to work together in cooperation if they are complementary. <coughs> and at the end, they say, yeah, woman is also a mother. She, she has the role to transmit values to the children. So, family is very important. And then, family is very important. So, that was the fourth one, that's it. And then uh, at the end, after the break, someone came, is uh, a lady, ambassador, the ambassador is Kenya, we can ask her. We can you from Paris, she came especially from Paris. And she said, Bougie, you know, I mean, you spoke about the family. We are the only one who spoke about the family in this background. <laughs> so I was very happy because I said the family. Yeah, yeah. 
Lopez nicht zu diesem Rom. Und November vor 1950, von dem ich nicht vor der Vertreter von Schlingen reich, den Fundamenten kriegen, zu pflegen, in der Schlesen wird kaufen. Denn auf dem 25. März 1957 sitzt man sich und sammelt auf die Karte der Leinen und die Palast für die Konservation von der Vatori und Frauen der European Economic Community und der European Atomic Energy Community. Das war das Richtige, das Problem, und das Verrückte für die European Union. Today, 77 countries belong to the EU, and the 35 countries are waiting to be accepted. The founding countries were Italy, France, Germany, Belgium, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands. The post war politicians were very inspired by their students' reconciliation and long to live in a war for Europe. This free democratic Europe in which we live today is from the miracle and we look on the bloody war to the history of Europe. I am very grateful to this contributing Europe and also to our second part of the day. Let's take that way. First of all, I would like to read uh, some practices on which I follow my presentation. Sorry, what is the title of your presentation? The title of my presentation is the title of the theme of this session, which is Covering Women's Value and Dignity and the Role to bring, uh, in Bringing Change Within the uh, Family and Society. It's the same title of the, I think it becomes in the program. Yeah? Okay. So, first premise, human beings are created or emanate from an original being. Second, the purpose of human life is to experience joy and happiness. The human heart has an insatiable desire for happiness. Third, human beings are both masculine and feminine and their physical and mental characteristics that complement each other. The union between masculine and feminine characteristics in the human life, although unique and exclusive, should happen in a context that is open to others and that contributes to the well-being of the whole. This was the first form. And the fifth, human beings are born with the potential for their development, which is infinite, and they co-participate in this process. This means they are co-creators of themselves. The quality of their development depends on several factors and circumstances, but especially on their willpower to cultivate their character and spirit. So with this practice, I developed my presentation. So I'll start by talking about, by speaking about the concept of value. Value is the quality of a being, of a subject or an object. So this pen has value to me because it helps me write representation.